There are a lot of different types of body armor out there and one of the coolest ones that I think there's like ceramic body armor. It's a lot more flexible, a lot more light than steel body armor. So what I wanted to do today was see if we could make our own body armor. But before I actually make it, I wanna test if I can make it out of tile. So that's what I have right here. Look at all this tile that we have. So, so one thing that they do, there's like this body armor where they have little tiny ceramic scales almost and they layer them like a dragon scale. I wanna see how durable and how bulletproof tile is. And then if it actually turns out to be pretty durable and pretty bulletproof, I'm gonna make my own body, body armor out of it. So these are massive 20 by 20 inch tiles they are man-made it's not like a natural stone it's so what we're gonna do is gonna line all this tile up and then shoot all the different rounds at them and see how many it goes through and see how they how good they are at stopping bullets and see if it's possible to make our own body armor so just as a side note the tile that we're using it's not like the ceramic plates that they use in body armor I just want to make that clear 100% different this is literally tile that you would lay on your ground like in your bathroom your kitchen but it's got to be pretty durable so we're just gonna start sending rounds through it because we had lots of pieces flying back at us when we shot the toilets we're gonna be pretty far away from these tiles I just don't want to risk it 22 long rifle I'm gonna shoot one if it doesn't shatter then I'll shoot another one here we go well shoot it went through like five of them so it completely shattered the first one cracked the second one and no damage to the third one Okay, moving on to handguns, nine millimeter. Okay, take the shot with the nine mil. Dead center. So the handgun did quite a bit more, the nine millimeter. It went through, still the first one. Through the second one. Completely cracked and shattered the third one. And it did a little crack on the fourth one too. So that's what, double? So far it's not looking good to make homemade body armor out of this stuff. Here's what's interesting. Here's what I think is happening. I don't actually know. It's for sure just shattering the first piece of tile. But this is the second one. You can see that's where it hit and this is the third one. I think the energy is just hitting it and shattering the tile from the energy. Not the actual bullet penetrating because it's not like broken right there. To see if what I was saying saying is true is that the energy is just breaking the tiles. I'm gonna shoot it one more time with a nine millimeter full metal jacket, but this time I put space in between the, a couple of the tiles. That way the energy won't be transferred and it might stop the bullet. So give me one more shot with it. Instead of breaking four, it broke two and stopped on the third. And the, so it really is just the energy that's breaking the tiles. For the sake of time, we're just gonna leave them up against each other. It'll still be cool to see like the energy of the guns and see that force and how many it breaks behind it. So up next is 223, full metal jacket out of the AR-15. Here we go. So that looks pretty dang cool. Look at it head on. Like you can see the spider webbing of it. It's like boom and then just all those things broke behind it so we had eight and it looks like it broke all of them except for the last one so that went through seven so handgun did four and a half ar-15 did seven this is gonna suck to clean up okay so there are currently 31 plates lined up gonna be shooting the 308 next and hopefully it saves us some plates left for the 50 cal um ar-15 went through seven this will probably go through 10. Woo! this one right here is 10. so it went through 10 exactly that's what i said right it went through 10 which means we have 5 10 15 20 21 ceramic tile left for the 50 cal. So it is pretty freaking amazing like how body armor is designed and how it transfers that energy. Cause I mean, obviously if they made body armor out of this stuff that we're shooting right now, you would have to wear a ton of them and that just weighs a ton and no one wants to do that. So it's pretty impressive what they're able to do Ugh, with body armor. What we're gonna do now is this gun has obviously the biggest amount of energy transfer that we have. So I do think that it can go through all of them. I mean, why not? Here we go. I think it went all, I think it broke all of them. Yeah, come look at the back here. There's not a single piece of tile that survived. It just went, it kept going. So that is absolutely insane. Wait, look, are you kidding me? Do you see what I see? That's it, that's, that is the bullet. And it's freaking hot. 
That is the 50 caliber bullet right there, and it is so hot. It completely just warped that bullet. So now you know, guys, I'm not gonna try and make body armor out of this stuff after seeing how much it would take. Like, this was just a quick video. Just wanted to see kind of the energy transfer and how many tiles we could break with the different rounds. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.